Hey there, Jasper fans. Welcome inside Manhattan Athletics here in the Morrow Broadcast Studio on the Jasper Sports Network. I'm Joe Hutter, joined by the head coach of the Manhattan Volleyball Team, Mark Jones. Coach, very successful year last year, got to the MAC semifinals, tabbed, tied for second in the preseason poll this year. What have you liked about this year's team? Well, I think we have a lot of returners coming back with a lot of leadership skills, and that's something that we're doing. It's really empowering our captains and also you know, our seniors. And I think that's what I'm really excited about, five seniors that I think with their leadership is going to take us where we need to go in the, in the MAC tournament. And obviously, I think our team goal this year is to win the tournament and go to the NCA. So that's something that's always, we always were talking about. Now we just need to make it happen. Well, you lose Malia McGinnis, the reigning MAC player of the yeah. year. Also, a couple of other players who had significant contributions a season ago. Sarah, Hazel, Sarah Hazelhorst, also Anna Keetlar, who a lot of time injured last year. But when she was healthy, she was pretty strong. How do you make up for the production of those three players? Well, we're very fortunate that we have six returners coming back with a lot of experience. Um, we're definitely, uh, you know, you know, the outside piece we're still mixing around with a couple players right now to figure out who's going to take Malia's place I mean Malia was such a incredible force for us you know last season she was player of the year she had an amazing senior year and had great leadership on the court and a six rotation player for us who did an amazing job so I think for us it's just a really you know getting the new players acclimated into the system um, they're gonna be playing their first collegiate game on Friday so I think it's gonna be important for our young players to get in there and really be be fearless and uh, do the best job they can do, you know, given the circumstances. Well, you bring up the young players, a couple transfers as well as freshmen coming into this year's team. What can we expect from them? And is there anybody in particular that has caught your eye in preseason? Yeah, I mean, I think that our biggest, you know, our, probably our biggest improvement right now is going to be our middle. And I think Ivana Kostic has come in and done a great job for us. She's a transfer from, you know, Maryland, Baltimore County. And I think that's something that we looked at bringing in a little bit more experienced middle because we did graduate Anna and she plays some middle for us. So I think we're happy about that. She brings a lot more blocking and definitely an offensive threat. They're going to score a lot more points for us. And then on the outside, we brought in junior college player, Melina Janjusevic, um, also from Serbia. So I think she's going to be a six rotation player that's going to help us on the outside. But we still have some other outside players um, you know, from freshmen that have come and done a, that have done a great job in the preseason. I expect a lot from you know Jessica Sconing. Um, I think Olivia Chaltis can help us on the outside. She's playing a little bit more opposite right now. Um, but I think, and really some of the returners, I think are going to help us too on the outside. You know, Mary Donnelly is going to do a great job for us. She's shown it in practice. So I think we're very confident in that position that we shouldn't really uh, take any back seat to that position at all from, you know, graduating Malia. But it's going to be really hard, to, you know, when you have a player that's player of the year to really replace that. But we're going to do our best. Well, Claire Van Dyke and Ali Amashiro both named to the MAC preseason team. Van Dyke second on the team in kills after Malia McGinnis last year. Yamashiro set a program record in digs, was 12th in the NCAA. Mm -hmm. I still don't know how she wasn't named yeah. libero of the year in the MAC, but talk about the importance of those two players to really kind of solidify this team and be that veteran leadership. Well, I mean, Claire Van Dyke did a great job for us, a six rotation player, continually got better and better as the season went on. I think the second half of the season, she was just a totally different player. I mean, she transferred in from Bryant, so I think she was getting everything, you know, getting used to the system, getting used to the school. Um, being able to play in the conference at a different level, I think. But she's a great player. I know she's going to continue to be one of the top players in the conference this year. She should be, you know, one of the best players in the conference. And I think we're seeing that right now in the practice. And I know that she's looking forward to the weekend. And I think Ali is just one of those players that works very hard every single day. Comes in extra, great leader on the court, wants to do her best all the time. It doesn't surprise me that she's breaking the school record for the most digs in a season. I think, I'm sure for her goal, she wants to be libero of the year in this conference. And I think with her hard work and really the team really pushing hard every day, I think she's going to accomplish those goals. What's the biggest difference from last year's team to this year's squad, in your opinion? Well, I think experience. I mean, okay. I think any time that you're going to have five seniors on your team, you're going to have the experience to, you know, hopefully go as far as you can and win that conference tournament. It's really important with the leadership. I think another thing that's really important for us is that our captains, I think, are doing a great job. I know they're going to step it up. Um, they're going to do an amazing job this year and just really lead this team to great things. 
Um, really, you need senior leadership, and that's what I'm most proud of right now. We have very good senior leadership, and the seniors are really going to lead the way, especially our setting position. You know, we have Jade Gray, who's going to do an amazing job, and Taya, you know, Parrish is going to be an amazing setter, too. So I think we're okay in that position. I'm, we're very solid with important positions on the court, and, you know, I'm just very optimistic about the season. Well, the Manhattan Volleyball team will open its season on Friday night at Towson, part of a tournament where they'll play four matches on Friday and Saturday combined, and then they'll have their home opener on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. start at Dratty Gymnasium right on the Jasper Sports Network. Head coach of the Manhattan Volleyball team, Mark Jones, thanks so much for the time. Thank Good luck you. this year. Thank you. And fans, thanks for joining us inside Manhattan Athletics here on the Jasper Sports Network.